thank you chairpersons and at the outset i thank uh, all the scientific committee of diabetes india uh, who invited us in the beautiful venue of uh, brilliant convention center at indore this is a religious city and uh, uh, just i can say i am already in the religious mode uh, yesterday night i went to a bhasma aarti at 1 o'clock in the night and till this time i am awake so my sleep wake cycle is already disturbed but as dr sheshadri said in the morning if you are in a uh, something in a trance mode then you can do anything in the world so that's why i am here uh, i'll take you parimal uh, excellent lecture and i'll take in my lecture uh, over and above dr parimal's lecture and what he has excellently told that it is the the exercise is the key for reducing sarcopenia or aging so that is also my take home message today for all of you we are all aging it is a nature's uh, call we have to age whatever the uh, uh, way it is whether you exercise whether you sedentary whether you are uh, genetic nature everybody has to age so hence uh, these are my disclosures but uh, in my first acknowledgement i acknowledge dr vinod mittal who is there and i actually uh, borrowed so many uh, literature from dr mittal thank you dr mittal for uh, giving me the literature for the beautiful uh, sarcopenia uh, things dear friends i told you it is a nature's call everybody has to age and what is this if you see age related changes here everybody whether it is a sinusitis here the asthma kidney disease arthritis diabetes center your all cells ultimately have to age if you see around the world population world population is actually aging now it is and because of several things because of physical limitations the quality of life actually reduces when you age and normally if you see here in the western society around 30% population more than 55 years is confronted in moderate moderate or severe physical limitations this is a very uh, serious thing and recently i heard that china is having one of the highest uh, people with age uh, in the world and they are actually worried so just uh, two days back in times of india there was a big uh, article regarding the china that they want to encourage the young population and they want to now previously one child population to now they want to encourage the the other population because china is going to age very fast so what is sarcopenia it is age related muscle loss dear friends muscle shrinks in size and strength similar to osteoporosis it is just like osteoporosis and it contributes a number of chronic disorders and in a simple way if i can explain sarcopenia if you see this is the muscle of average healthy adult if you see this much of muscle mass and muscle after sarcopenia this muscle mass reduces this is just a very simple explanation but this is not a very simple thing uh, there is interplay of several in inflammatory cytokines several other factors which lead to sarcopenia and aging so dear friends it is a loss of muscle mass or strength or function which happens to everyone with age and muscle loss is around 3% per year which uh, this is after 65 years and 5 to 13% elderly people aged 60 to 70 years it is serious global public health problem it is going to be a very serious problem because the world's population is getting age uh, very fast so what is uh, the rate and severity actually it depends on individual how you age some people age very fast and some people age very slow so rate and severity depends on individual things and what is the mechanism of this sarcopenia it is exactly not clear but it is definitely as i told you it is a interplay of 
hormones, immobility, decrease in uh, neuromuscular junctions, increase inflammatory cytokines, nutrition, deficiency sort of thing or malnutrition and neurodegenerative changes in the brain that actually combined leads to sarcopenia. And if you see here, I just told you uh, the gender related things and this is the one study which says that this is study uh, done by Huang and this says that uh, it examines the young old population aged 65 to 74 years and the higher prevalence of sarcopenia was found in females as compared to males. This is the study. So gender uh, thinks the females actually age little faster. And here is the, the, the study and if you see here uh, and compared to males and females as far as most of the the age, height, weight, BMI and all, uh, uh, even biochemical parameters uh, actually little differs between males and females. So, the important thing is that, what is important thing, the clinical risk factors in main, men were the age, height, BM, uh, body mass index, waist circumference, SMI, the uh, skeletal muscle index, this is the fasting glucose, triglycerides and the blood pressure. So this is actually these are the factors which actually determine the, the aging. And if you detect these deteriorating functions very early, then actually you can do something to prevent the sarcopenia. So if you see here, the factors responsible for sarcopenia are multiple. Aging is one of the factor, but if you are sedentary, as Dr. Parimal has just told us just now, that if you are sedentary, you are actually bound to have a faster aging. Anorexia of aging is also very common. Most of the people say that I don't have any appetite. And that's why the malnutrition occurs, that they don't take proteins. And because of deficiency of proteins, the anorexia of aging, the sarcopenia occurs. Of course, ultimately it is the brain neurons. It is the decreased neuronal motor units which actually lead to sarcopenia. Decreased vascular supply because of increased atherosclerosis. Decreased growth hormone and uh, insulin growth factor 1. A small birth weight. This is something very surprising. If people have the small birth weight has uh, faster aging. And of course, decrease in the, this hormone DHEA, decreased testosterone and most of the uh, inflammatory cytokines have increased. So this is how the, the different factors responsible for things and ultimately if you see what is the molecular mechanisms, why your muscle health is reducing and if you see here, most of the most important thing it is the mitochondria. Dr. Parimal also very clearly told that it is the mitochondria of the cells which actually determine the aging. What it does, it increases the reactive oxygen species and biogenesis reduces and hence your cells function reduces. Similarly, other than the hormonal changes like growth hormones, IGF-1, testosterone, estrogen, they are reduced but at the same time myostatin increases, that's why your muscle strength reduces. There is a decrease in neural function, malnutrition I told you just like even Dr. Anup Mishra's one study said that 60 to 70 percent Indians otherwise are also protein deficient. And if you check just your muscle strength, I am so sure even in this audience, only 20 to 30 percent must be having a normal muscle strength. If I can say bioimpedance meter here just now. So that is the real problem with all of our Indians. Most of Indians are actually carbohydrate eaters. We eat more carbohydrates, more fats, but less proteins and because of this, this is the real problem that your muscle health reduces. Reduces the satellite cell functions, chronic inflammatory cytokines like interleukins, TNF-alpha. Lifestyle factors are very, very important. If you are obese, if you are sedentary, if you are having more smoking, you, are, you will age faster. Your muscle strength will go down. So ultimately, it is the, the interplay of all these factors lead to sarcopenia and what does sarcopenia clinically does? 
there is a resting energy expenditure, insulin sensitivity reduces, muscle mass and strength uh, reduces, your increased risk of physical disability. There is an increased risk of falls, you all know these things very well, and there is increased risk of death because of the, the, the reduces muscle mass or muscle strength. So, dear friends, these two great epidemiological trends, aging and obesity, if you see here, what is the primary sarcopenia? Of course, it is age related. This is we can do anything. But secondary sarcopenia can develop because of your reduced physical activity, your malnutrition, and we have seen just now the, the different functions. So, dear friends, if I can say here, the one of the study, this Pima et al., which proposed the existence of two phenotypes of sarcopenia. This is osteosarcopenic visceral obesity or OVO and another is osteosarcopenic subcutaneous obesity or OSO. So these two phenotypes exist in all of us. <coughs> and if you see the sarcopenic obesity, it is a combination of obesity defined by high body fat percent and sarcopenia. So this is a, actually a common type of phenotype. And if you see here, the muscle, why Dr. Parimal has clearly told us, I don't have to repeat this, but if you see, this is a sort of a new endocrine organ, which actually res is responsible for your structural function and metabolic functions. Your muscles are very, very important. Uh, and not only this, if you are malnourished, you can have all these factors uh, if you are malnourished or rest, uh, less proteins uh, in the so there is a role of myokines and sarcopenia if you see here aging there are several factors or several uh, uh, inflammatory cytokines which actually leads to the sarcopenia I will not go into the details for that and what are the pa potential pathogenic mechanisms of this age related sarcopenia if you see here this is a sarcopenia or sarcopenic obesity. I told you just now, it is the most important thing is the mitochondrial function. Of course, neuromuscular, altered satellite, we have already discussed all these factors. Now, the important thing is how to diagnose. This is again very, very important thing. There are several ways you can diagnose, but if you just follow this very simple algorithm here, very simple algorithm, if you suspect a sarcopenia in your uh, in your patients then just uh, i mean uh, uh, it just is suspicion do the muscle strength or grip strength or chair strength test very very simple test chair strength test and if it is normal okay there is no sarcopenia and you have to rescreen later now if it is low your grip strength and chair strength test is low then Maybe you are sarcopenic. Then you have to do the muscle quantity or muscle quality test by DEXA, by bioimpedance, or by CT scan or MRI. You have all the uh, investigations with you, and you can confirm the muscle uh, strength, uh, low muscle strength. And if it is confirmed by these tests, okay, you are sarcopenic. And now, once you confirm that. Yes, you are sarcopenic. You, are, you have to see the rate and severity of sarcopenia. And this is just by your physical performance. It can be uh, checked by a gait speed, how, how fast you uh, walk, uh, and also some uh, oxygen capacities also. So, I mean, you can have a very simple algorithm. And what are the investigations? Uh, what are the uh, uh, instruments? Uh, anthropometry, very simple thing. You can do the body mass index, you can have the waist circumference. Then, bioimpedance, I think, this is a very simple instrument. I'll show you just later. Then, you can have a muscular ultrasound. You can have a simple hand grip. This uh, instrument is available. The simple stand chair test, uh, this is, uh, I think you had, uh, Dr. Parimal has told, this is three minutes test or something like this. And it is a four, 400 meter walking test. Very simple tests are available to diagnose whether you are sarcopeny or you are not sarcopeny. This is a simple we are using in our hospital. This is a bioimpedance uh, meter, and this is a simple thing, and you can check whether you have the 
low muscle strength or whether you have normal muscle strength. Dear friends, how the diabetes and sarcopenia is related. Several factors and this is interrelated and you can actually uh, see uh, if person is diabetic, you are having more chances of sarcopenia. Or if it is opposite, if you are sarcopenic, then there are chances that you may become diabetes or you are uh, having the severity of diabetes. And I will not enumerate all these functions, but they are all correlated, uh, diabetes and sarcopenia. This is one very important uh, uh, South Asian Working Action Group on Sarcopenia. This is SWAG Sarco. It is a consensus, very recent 2022 statement. And what this statement very clearly said that, that it is muscle strength, muscle function, and muscle mass, by which muscle strength you can test by hand grip, low, uh, lower limb uh, muscles strength, muscle function by just a simple walking speed, Sit to stand or chair stand test or muscle mass simple by anthropometry, uh, the, the thigh circumference, the body mass index or simple waist circumference. So this is how you can actually see the things. Now insulin sensitivity. Once you are aging, your insulin sensitivity reduces. And there are several things. Dr. Krishna Sisadri, if you have heard in the morning, beautifully explained about this autophagy and metaphagy uh, in, the, in the people. Because we are against the nature, we are not doing so much of things. So what to do? How to manage this increasing sarcopenia? This is nature's thing I told you on the first time, first uh, initially, that everybody has to age. Nobody can do anything for that. Then, the first thing Dr. Parimal told very clearly, exercise is the key if you want to reduce the, the sarcopenia or rate of sarcopenia. Of course, there are several drugs have been tried like <coughs> vitamin D, hormone replacement, sorry. <coughs> uh, hormone replacement therapy or uh, some phytoestrogens you can try. There are Several uh, drugs have been tried, but uh, exactly uh, nothing works very clearly. Then uh, you have a uh, hypocaloric diet. This is very, very important. Again, you have to increase your protein, uh, proteins in the diet and reduce the calories. This is the key for any diet restriction uh, to reduce the sarcopenia. And how we can do that? Uh, this is just a simple thing, exercise by resistance training and sustained resistance training very clearly demonstrated by Dr. Parimal just now. Dr drugs you have already seen, the hypocaloric diet. So what are the conventional treatment? Dear friends, dietary intervention and the physical activity. Two major things by which if you are, you are active, I think your rate of uh, uh, sarcopenia is reduces. Dietary protein intake is very, very important. At least one gram per kilogram body weight per day is uh, required. Sometimes, I mean, if you not take too much of thing, for vegetarians, it is very difficult to take good physical. And then physical activity, I don't want to go for this. Dr. Parimal has already told about the exercise. So my last thing is, is sarcopenia inevitable? What do you say? It is inevitable? Yes. Sarcopenia is partly reversible with your appropriate exercise, interventions and the diet and specifically I told you, it is you have to increase your proteins. Otherwise check bioimpedance just now and I am telling you 60-70% of us are having low muscle strength. I am 100% sure about that. So dear friends, take age gracefully. This is the last message of mine. Thank you very much. You have to do your strength training, proper diet, and walking, cycling, golfing, swimming, proteins, reduce carbohydrates, salads, fruits, phytoestrogen, whatever things, sunlight, natural vitamin D, all will work to reduce the sarcopenia. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू डॉक्टर विनोद मित्तल यस गिवन मी सो मेनी लिटरेचर्स रिगार्डिंग सार्क ओपिनियन थैंक यू